So we got Overlux and B-Dude happening next. Overlux is the number one seed. We're gonna get more Pokemon Trainer play here. Overlux is the number one seed for this overall event. Considered to be one of the favorites to win for sure. And B-Dude, somebody once again, a member of the old Smash 4 Garden in Saskatchewan, hasn't played this game, uh, he hasn't been too dedicated to this game from what I know. I've actually played him on a quick play before. He is interested in testing his skill, evaluating his uh, abilities in this game. And what better way to start than to go up against the tournament favorite? Let's see what we can. Let's see what he can do here. PS2 is the pick for game number one. And, right uh, off the bat, Overlux uh, calls him out for pulling that bomb with the the withdraw from Squirtle. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Squirtle so definitely don't have that much frames loading. Oh, there we go. So I know B Dude uh, plays both Young Link and Toon Link. Looks like he's starting out with the Toon Link. Oh wow, what a nice conversion! He catches. Uh, he catches over Lux with kind of a reverse edge guard setup there. He uh, waited for Overlux to snap the ledge with Ivy and then got the bomb into a down air. And so B Dude takes the early lead here. Nice back air coming in from Overlux on that Charizard. And B Dude got a little bit of an ill advised up B that gets punished with the Charizard F Smash. We got ourselves an even game. One of the things B-Dude has to be careful, especially when going up against, like, Squirtle, is that Squirtle can easily maneuver around Toon Link's projectiles. Because they're floating and not as fast as the yeah, other one. Yeah, sure. Oh, but getting that down here, and that was already set. I'm, like, way behind. I, mean, <laughs> I just you're, realized. Oh, your screen's very far behind. I guess I can do a screen share. I'll try another screen share after this. All right. Sounds good. I, Ivy Sword gets tagged by that bomb there, but Overlock is able to switch to Charizard in time to make it back. And he's opened up a nice little lead on the second stock here. B-Dude finds himself trapped in the corner. Overlux is fishing for the back air. Actually, oh, there we go. He gets the back air. He converted off of B-Dude's errant bomb explosion with the Nair and then punished uh, a drift towards ledge with a back air. So Overlux has a slight lead. 91% into second stock, though. B-Dude is not out of this by any means. No, for sure. And uh, one of the things that b is really good is just keeping Pokemon Trainer out. The only question is... Can't keep Ivysaur out. But it seems to be For doing sure. a pretty good job. He won't need to worry about the Ivysaur right now as Overlux is committed to Charizard. And I know that Overlux is a big fan of Charizard in general. He might be a bit more uh, centered on the character than most Pokemon trainer players. Mm -hmm. But we'll see if that works out for him because I feel like Charizard would have a difficult time maneuvering around the hitboxes that Toon Link can throw out. He yeah, does have sure. a fast dash. He does have a fast dash speed, so on the ground it wouldn't be too bad. But in terms of aerial mobility and hitbox size, Charizard could be disadvantaged there. So B Dude takes the second stock. He's down 90% right now. He's on ledge. Rolls past. And yeah, Overlux is just sticking with the Charizard. There's no reason not to here. He's only at 11%, and he's got B Dude at 129. One of the things uh, Overlux does have to be careful, though, is that Toon Link does yeah. have both Bomb Confirms and Boomerang Confirms, and Charizard and there, is good. Overlux punishes that fair on shield from ledge with an up smash, Charizard's up smash being frame 6, one of his better out of shield options for sure. Overlux takes game 1 very comfortably. Okay. Would you mind screen sharing me, please? <laughs> yes, I can do that. I am having trouble coming today. Right. Sorry, I clicked on the I clicked on the wrong server three different times. Oh, really? Screen <laughs> <laughs> uh, share, game capture HD. There we go. Let's try that. Maybe if there's just two of us. Oh. Maybe we'll see. I killed Pixley, but at least it's still it's still on time, at least. Okay. So we got Wake. If we move over to Pool 3, we have Wake taking on Youngster Joey to make it out of pools. And then Feral is waiting for the winner of uh, another set. Felix is waiting for the winner of this set that's on screen right now. 
In pool one, we also have Thick up 1 0 over Pale in the other winner's semis match. I'm quite curious about the counter pick that uh, BD just taking. And it seems we're going back, right back to PS2. Yeah. So. I guess he felt uh, he felt pretty comfortable. I think there were just a couple. There were a couple of instances where he uh, maybe was a little bit too um, cautious against Charizard. And he allowed Overlux to really dictate the pace. When with a character like Toon Link, who has a couple of projectiles that command space, he can be a little bit more assertive in the neutral. But aside from that, like it was, it seemed pretty close. And uh, okay, I am watching a PowerPoint. Interesting. No joke. <laughs> How bad is it? It's pretty bad. <laughs> I'm literally watching a slideshow. Okay, hold on. Okay. Now it's at least 720p. It was 480p before. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, Overlux went for the the, f the famous Ivy combo that he discovered. The down throw there, and there, up B. The B gets, gets the gimp. Yep. Yeah. So now Oh, not nice call out in the double jump. With that back air. He ne B Dude needs the bomb to explode, and it does. He makes it back. A nice early up B from B Dude. Excellent awareness of his character's options. A couple of up tilts. Catches the air dodge with the late hit of up air. Yeah, that, that up air stays up for so long. Yeah, yeah. it's a very good move. Arguably, Toon Link's best aerial. For sure. And, uh, you try going for an up smash, but, uh, Toon Link's sword is not that big. It'll cover that platform. Okay, uh, he gets the bomb, the ball, toss off the ledge into a boomerang. He's, he's bringing it back slowly but surely. It seems like he's starting to win the war of attrition. And he gets the punish on the Flare Blitz with the fair. B-Dude takes the lead. Yeah. Overlux has got to be really careful with our Flare Blitz, because if it goes wrong, he's kind of screwed. Look at that, Overlux turning up the aggression immediately. There, he gets the Vine Whip. Nice catch on B-Dude, just kind of falling down to the ground. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's quite even up now. Uh, Ivy's are definitely more of a threat uh, to Toon Link. And actually being able to challenge Toon Link's uh, projectile game with those Razor Leafs and able to close the distance. I think Ivy is definitely going to be the peg for quite a while until he can get a B Dude into that kill range for an Ivy Sword Nair or just for Ivy Sword Up Air or a uh, Vine Whip or just Charizard in general. Solid boomerang into Up Air conversion from B Dude. These percents are nearly even. Overlux catches the roll in on that platform. The Up Air is a bit too late. B Dude gets the shield out. How does he get down to the ground? He gets the down air onto the platform, and B Dude is now at center stage. Yeah. One of the things that B Dude does have to be careful is being on those platforms because that up air covers pretty much almost the entire platform. Fair shield pokes. You could have called out that switch, the fair, but uh, up throw might kill here. No, he goes for four oh, throw instead. Throw. Almost killing there. And, uh, try and get a more aggressive off stage. This is that down air B dude. Up air, oh, doesn't up air doesn't kill the Wow. Really heavy. Forward tilt to send Overlux off stage. What does he do with the bomb here? Oh, he gets the nair the and the nair kill. The nair wow. And he had enough Watch time to whip a and from get another. Jeez, that's insane. B dude tying up one one. I think Overlux thought he was probably out of range when he drifted away from the fair. He wasn't expecting B-Dude to throw up that nair. Excellent awareness from B-Dude. That whole last stock, he, uh, it looked like he was in some trouble. Those razor leaves were constantly penetrating his zone, but, uh, you know, he managed to adapt and, uh, come away with a very clutch sequence of offstage plays. This is a very entertaining set. And unlike Toon Link's uh, projectiles, uh, I sort of can't really angle the, his side special as much as, uh, Toon Link's boomerang, so... Just having those more options definitely made it help. But uh, a little bit of update in uh, Pool 4 is that uh, Huh is uh, now in top 16. He uh, beat uh, Kodra 2-0. Uh, so he's moving on to top 16. Mm. And uh, Kodra wow. is waiting, waiting in uh, loser's quarters. That's, an, that's quite the upset. Coach received his fifth overall in this bracket. He was expected to make it very far. Wow. So Ha makes it to top 16 without dropping a game.
And we also have Pompcons defeating K11. Pompcons using Hero, K11 using Lucario as we uh, expected. And then Luke Duke and Nova appear to still be playing on Savage Devo's stream. Pongo and Duel are actually playing each other in... Uh... Okay. So Luke Duke and Pongo will be next then. But uh, let's get back to the match here. And uh, yes. what about getting a solid 42% right off the bat with Squirtle. And he's obviously making the switch to Ivy Sword Combat, Toon Link's uh, projectiles. He's doing a really good job as well. Oh, he air dodges into the uh, the upbeat. Good extension for B-Dude. Yeah, Overlock's sure. a little bit late on that factor to upbeat conversion. I think if he'd gone for an instant upbeat, that would have killed B-Dude. But he delays it a bit, maybe. I don't know if it's nerves or if it's adjusting to the delay, but it seems like B Dude might be getting an Overlux's head a bit. Yeah, for sure. And uh, nice combo uh, pair, the combo that B Dude is known for. <laughs> the B Dude special. Yeah. Of course, his last name is actually Fair, F E H R. So. Oh, actually. That's where, yeah, that's where the oh, name that's funny. from. Yeah. <laughs> I did not know that. But uh, Overlox getting that drag down there and uh, getting his lead three to two. Eighty-two percent, maybe a couple of conversions away from being from his stock being in danger. I'm liking uh, Overlox's lead right now. Down throw Nair B dude. Oh no, unfortunate SD from B dude. He pulls that bomb and then just kind of drops down. Maybe he expected to have a double jump and didn't have it. Yeah, I think it might have been uh, taken de taken away at some point during that combo. Perhaps, Perhaps yeah. yeah. Actually, that is Actually, probably that what is happened, yeah. He might have jumped away to avoid the fair. And then uh, not accounted for that in his recovery. So Overlock's with a very commanding lead right now. Yeah, for sure. He's just keeping Bidu trapped in the corner. These razor leaps are constantly interrupting Bidu's own projectile throws. Sure. And that's what we were starting to see in the last stock of game two. So we'll see if B Dude has another crazy adaptation left in him. Mm -hmm. Looking very Lee, grim. You... Although Toon Link does have a lot more uh, projectiles, Razor Leaf just comes up so quickly and he can get so many out at once. For sure. Down throw to up B is going to kill here from Overlux. Or back here to up B. If he had jumped, he would have hit it for sure. Yep. Sharking with the vine with through the ledge. B dude at over 100% on his last stock. He gets the fair. Nice little, uh, you know, small measure there. Small measure of success. There, yeah, the Nair into the F tilt. Overlux takes game three very comfortably, and he will advance 2 1 over a very spirited effort from B dude. Yeah. And uh, I watched another slideshow again. Oh, man. Oh, man. 